So you want to run faster. I started working with one of New Zealand's premier distance runners, Mike Voss. Within a couple of months, I took him from a 31 minute 10K to a 29 minute 10K. Recently, Mike has experienced first place success and off the podium failure. I want to teach you something that you don't know by taking you behind the scenes with some training sessions, racing, and subsequent lactate testing with me and Mike so that you can apply my sports science back principles to your own running so that you can be faster now. But first off, it's all about training. And today we're just down at the uh, the Grass Athletics, tra our local track. This is all we got. <laughs> uh, some spray painted lines on on a rugby field, pretty much. So what we've been doing like today was a 1600, one minute recovery into two 800s, on one minute recovery into four 400s. A typical training session always needs to have a purpose and a place within your training plan. That session right there had the specificity of improving Mike's anaerobic work capacity. That's his ability to run above his lactate threshold that he needed for the upcoming 5k. Not his upcoming 50k as part of the Ultra Trail World Series at the Tatarara Ultra Marathon. It had almost no flat ground, definitely wasn't on an athletics track, almost all single trail and over a thousand meters of elevation with a world-class field. In summary, with a training session like that, we're training for high lactate and fast paces. Yeah, I felt good, felt strong, so yeah, a few more easy days and then we'll be into it. Yeah, pre-race thoughts, how's it gonna go? Um, yeah, I think she's a bit of an unknown because there's a few international uh, people lining up who I haven't raced before, so um, I think we'll just try to sit with them through the uh, first 30k or blue lake and then um, yeah, hopefully have enough to start pushing the pace and sort of pick it up towards the end. Yeah, as I say, just take it easy at the start and then um, just sort of sit there, see how the other boys are feeling. And then in the later stages there's a few decent hills, so I could decide if I want to attack or even just sit again and just rely on my leg speed and the I think it's about 5k or so at the end, 5k flat, so um, yeah, hopefully pull away then if we're still feeling good and yeah. He wasn't allowed leading until the Blue Lake, which is now about 35k's in, but every photo I saw from the spotters out, he was in front. Um, he's just come through, he just seems so nervy. Michael didn't do as well as we expected. The mistake we made was specificity. We were trying to win a 50k trail event off of 5k track training. It's a mistake that many runners make. You think because you're fit at one distance, that'll translate to fitness at a different distance. While that's true to some extent, each distance and discipline of running has its own unique physiological challenges. And to ensure optimal performance, you need to train specifically for those physiological challenges. After that race, we took a good hard look at the calendar and decided to drop the 5K so that we could concentrate on the upcoming half marathon and marathon national champs. Immediately, I wanted to figure out where Michael was at his baseline relative to where he needed to be to win another national championship. Knowing your lactate threshold is an important tool in endurance training. For me and Mike, we were able to determine that his threshold was around 3 minutes and 5 seconds per K. But I knew that he needed to get down to 3 minutes per K if he had a shot at winning the National Half Marathon Championships. Your lactate threshold is about what you can sustain for an hour. For Mike, we just honed in on trying to run 3 to 3.05 per K over multiple repetitions week on week leading up to the event. For us, we were able to get that threshold down to 3 minutes per K, and Mike was able to go on to win the Half Marathon National Champs in a time of 1.04. For you, even if you're not doing a Half Marathon or running one in one hour, knowing your threshold is still really important because you can judge your performances below an hour and above an hour relative to that threshold. How do you find your lactate threshold? Luckily for you, you don't need a sports scientist and a lactate meter. You can simply do a 30 minute time trial and take your average pace, power or heart rate over the last 20 minutes, fire it into my training zones calculator 
and you'll get everything you need. Going to do, he's going to win the New Zealand 10,000 metre championships, Michael Voss, you are the 2024 champion. And he's got under it 29 minutes, 29 seconds unofficially. What a run, what a run.